Okay, here's a video of a knife that I just finished. And I will do my best to take a quick tour of all the details. Okay, overall, this is a Pan-Asian fighting style knife. Um, it's got a clip grind to reduce weight in the front. It's swept um, for a little bit of more chopping power and just uh, sex appeal, I would say. It is forged integral in a rather complex fashion. This is a tapered, curved, opposed tang integral with a um, split pommel. The tang and pommel and front bolster are all blued. The better to show the contrast with the um, copper wire inlay that I applied. That's a hand engraved groove with copper wire hammered in. The African blackwood scales are held on with stainless steel pins. This one is in the center of this sculpted facet, and this one is at the point of this sculpted facet. Fit up, feel seamless, nice and comfy. In fact, the whole grip is quite comfortable to my hand. Two fingers in the middle, one in front, one in back. Now where the bluing terminates, I, um, I put a little bit of a, a detail here in the form of masking it off to form kind of a keyhole color transition into the etched spine of the Hamon blade. The other major characteristic of this blade is in fact the Hamon, which is not super flashy in terms of shape, but I did get some nice activity in there. Let me back up into the sun here and play with it a little bit. And you can see that there's a lot of this um, cloudy, I think of it as surf flowing onto the sand and then receding. Look, the spine is partially hardened as well and has waves, crests of white habuchi billowing up into the hardened clip. The clip is fully hardened at the edge, and the edge of the clip blends down until the last four or five inches of it is sharp enough for a back cut. Oh man, I love that smoke in a hamon. It's so hard to show with a camera. And that has been a video tour of my new knife. Thanks for watching.